Okay, I'm back. Um, this one I got from Yoli Bean. She did. She said she had to do a quick um, had to do a quick mini album for her twins' teacher who was going on maternity leave, and she did um, so cute. So I loved it, and I was like, oh, I got to do that because it's easy. I'm trying to do a lot that's easy for me, less the least expensive for me to do, the least time consuming, so that I can pump out a lot. Because it is December 3rd and I don't have a whole lot and I got to be there for eight hours. And my table stuff, if people like it, you know, it's going to be gone in an hour and a half. <laughs> so I'm trying to pump out like a whole bunch at once right now. Anyway, so this says it's a girl. It's a girl. Well, obviously, it's a girl baby mini album. This is an old paper line. I don't know where it's from, but um, some iron roses that I glimmer mist with. Um, not glimmer mist, but mist it with moon shadow mist. And so, so this is this is the same one that um, Yoli Bean had the same idea. So I didn't know how to do it, but she kind of verbally explained it. So I just went with that, and I binded every, I binded everything with my bind it all. So I just have a simple photo mat here. All of these tags pull out, and they all have something at the bottom, some little ticket thing. So I I liked how um, you know I have the little. You know, the different shape between the two papers. So I like that. And they all have just something different on there. It's flower, button, ribbon. They all pull out lots of space for you know, um, pictures and journaling. I kept it simple. Didn't decorate it too much. Let them do their own thing. Hope I'm not making you dizzy by flipping through this too fast. And then it ends there. I love this paper. So cute. So that's my It's a Girl. Okay. And then, of course, I have to do It's a Boy. I left these out, these little things here out, to take up their name, the kid's name, and the date that they were born on there. Boy, um, some I am, some um, mini rosettes from, from, I don't know. I know I got these from eBay for $2 for like 150 of them. These, I don't know where they're from. These might be a recollections. Recollections from Michaels. Okay. Now that that's over with. Same idea from Yoli Bean. Photo mat. Same idea, guys. Just more uh, boy colors. Maybe that purple is a little me, but still nice. Purple's in the paper, so I kind of use that. So anyway, thank you, Yoli Bean. Thank you, Roxy Fur. Thank you, Drew Care. Drew. Your name? Drew Michael. Um, Laura following the paper trail, stamping up, um, just a bunch of people, some of these ideas were mine too, I, don't, I didn't show y'all everything, but anyway, thank you guys for watching, let me know what you think, if you weren't already, here's the question of the day, if you weren't already a scrapper, a paper crafter, and couldn't make all of these cards and, and stuff like that, would you buy a mini album at a craft fair for like, 15 bucks if it had you know just, oh, the theme that you want and everything and then you know card stack any ideas guys for stacks of cards that I can use um, to make you know so I can get some more packs of five I'm selling them in packs of five because it's easier I guess no but I don't know I wouldn't want to buy 25 cards at a you know thing so I just figure everybody stacks of five I don't know any ideas you guys can help me out with with um, mini album themes or you know what what would you what would you want to see? Um, I need some help. So otherwise, I'm gonna keep producing the same things that I'm doing just in like massive quantities. So I have the it's a boy, it's a girl. Oh, I do. I am working on. Um, let me go grab it. Kathy over at Paper Phenomenon. Hold on, guys. Sorry, my craft room is so messy. I couldn't even get through there without bumping stuff. So Kathy over at um, Paper Phenomenon has a wedding mini that she did in like July. It's awesome. So it's a long. I mean, I can't just. I have to watch the whole video and wait and pause it and do it. So it takes me forever. But this is as far as I've gotten. I don't have um, the some of the stuff she has, like the gypsy files or whatever, but. I'm working with what I have. So, I did get this far. 
to do the outside cover. And then I got through the pillow, which opens up like that, which is cool. That goes on like one of the pages like this. So you open that up, and then you can still do that. Anyway, you guys go check her out, Kathy Paper Phenomena, and you can see what I'm talking about. But this flips, how does this work? This is a pocket here, pocket there, and then um, I think it's bound, I can't get it together, I think it's bound, I don't know, I'm not that far yet, but I think it's bound like this and it opens up and flips. <sighs> anyway, so this is as far as I've gotten. I don't think I'm going to, this is the only one I'm going to make of this. This takes too long, too long for my time, because I only have, when the kids go to bed, to like midnight, and then I have to get back up at 5.45, so it's like three and a half hours, so anyway. But I got this far, so I'm so proud of me. I might just, because I'm strapped for time, I might just, like, end it right here. If I can figure out how to bind it, if I get that far. Figure out how to attach these two to the bottom. But, um, guys, I might just end it, like, right here. Call it a day. I don't know. We'll see. So, I was working on that. Anyway, if you have, um, your suggestions for... The things that I asked about the other stuff, please leave a comment, send me a message. I'll take all ideas. I take all ideas. So anyway, see you guys. Thanks for the inspiration. You guys are awesome. Bye.